Hey guys, this is Diana on Daya Dash, and we're doing a segment called Forage and Fun. And this is rose hips, and you'll find this around August, the late summer. And it's part of this plant, um, beautiful beach rose. And I also have um, information how to make rose water, which is really, really um, fun to do. And you can just pick the petals. But today we're going to concentrate on sources of vitamin C and foraging in your local neighborhood um, in Massachusetts. But you can find this in other regions and other temperate climates. Um, I'll keep walking around a bit. I'm just at my local beach. How are you guys? Of course, I've been doing a lot of work online. And uh, it's been crazy, guys. It's been really crazy. I just wanted to um, take a little minute to be with nature and look at all these medicinal plants. There's so many, guys. It's so fun. You can bring your children to the beach. You you really got to start seeing. Um, I can do a video how to harvest these. This is really great. I'm going to take one right now. Um, actually, I have, a, I have a bag. I'm going to cut it really easily. Um, I want to be really, really careful, um, just so I could show you guys um, how it is. I think I brought my tools, because you know you don't want to be yanking on it or anything. But this is a little hidden secret, guys, um, at the beach or anywhere that the stuff grows. You can also use pine needles um, because you know infections are taken care of. I'm gonna be really, really careful with this little boy. I'm gonna just snip it that ever so slightly. Let me grab this beautiful, looks like a little cherry tomato, right guys? If you take enough of these, this is really, really medicinal. You'll need like maybe a handful and then you'd wanna process the inside of it and take out the itchy red hairs that are attached to it. And you can tell that it's a rose bush by these type of leaves. They're small little leaflets. It's a really, really, really good stuff, guys. And they grow in abundance. Let me show you. Hopefully it's not too windy. And that you can hear me. I'm gonna go somewhere where it's not so windy. And hopefully you can hear me better. Um, because sometimes the wind really, really, really gets you sucks and i hope you guys are having a great day because this is all about being medicinal on the way back i'm going to harvest some more when i have both my hands together but this is my little walk today it's been a scorcher out this week guys right it's been so hot i know everybody is having a hard time keeping their heads cool so if you're having a tough week make sure you get out into nature stop foraging we're gonna start doing some foraging fun episodes because there's just so many different herbs and medicine and you know this is all about author molecular medicine and the real medicine guys we're not dealing with that nonsense um with the allopathy you know as you can see there's medicine everywhere you turn everywhere you turn what are we doing um, running up all kinds of medical bills and all that. Isn't that just silly? We are so silly what we're doing. When everyone knows what the real medicine is. And believe me, this has more vitamin C, guys. You see how juicy this is? This has more vitamin C, they say, per weight. Not sure the stats right now. Than oranges. You understand? Oh, look. It's so fun. The kids would love to, like, you know, it's like a little treasure hunt. And you think most people even know what these are? They'd be like, oh, no, I'm not sure if that's golden seal, guys, though, but that could be another medicinal plant. You need to get, like, a plant book, you know. Um, you definitely need to get a plant book because you walk by medicine each and every day. They're all over, you see. And you can make a tea. 
You can make a jam. This is all from Beach Rose. Do you guys even realize? Look at that. You know, we don't even use it. Then we cry, oh, I can't afford medicine. Oh, my bills are too high. Did you even try to do something different? Did you try to connect with your ancestors and their way of life? Um, you know, or did you read the Bible and see that the herbs were for the healing of the nations? I don't see anything there about the Maxine. You know what rhymes with that. Um, I don't see anything there with uh, chemical cocktails. Um, being for the healing of the nations. I don't see none of that. But I do see herbs. I do see herbs there many, many, many times. And the beach, you can go, and you're already going anywhere. Anyway, um, evergreen trees, pine trees, guys. Pine needles, that's a whole other video, which is great because that's something that um, you can harvest in the winter. So it's always around, look, I mean, just hip after hip. You need to get hip on the rose hips, you know? Be hip with the hip because there is this little thing. Oh, this is so adorable. Look at the little bunny. Can you see him? The little bunny. He is so adorable. Oh, he goes skipping away. Oh, to be with nature, isn't it just... It's just so nice, guys. I hope it's not too windy and you can hear me because it can be a little much when you're at the beach, you know. I do love doing videos at the beach, but it can be so windy, so noisy. So I'm going to try to just go off the trail, show you a little book I'm reading from. Um, I could put up an article when I go home and upload this, something about rose hips because let me tell you, you're going to love it. You are going to love it. See, I'm going to go in little dunes. Show you my little path. Don't you love it? Um, it's like you're on a little journey with me, guys. I love doing these little excursions. And um, it's all about holistic health. The proper term is ortho molecular um, medicine. Oh, that's so weird how they... Oh, I want to see the eggs, guys. I know they try to cut us all, like, I'm not touching the eggs, but see, it's all, like, government property. I'm not stealing your eggs. I have respect for the animals and God's creatures. I'm just here harvesting a little rose hips, getting a little salt water. I know there's, like, plenty of red seaweed in the salt water today, guys. Don't know what's going on. Find myself a little nook just to finish chatting with everyone because I feel so good, so grounded. And let me tell you, the beach, let me tell you right now, the beach is God's hospital. It feels so good. All right, now you can finally see me, right? I'm like walking in that direction. I'll do this quick. I know, it's so darn dark because um, I had the sun facing my back. But if you guys don't have a book like this, check it out. These type of books are really, really great. I was just on a really cool page that was talking about um, medicinal plants. And there was a really great quote, which just shows that, like, you know, it's always been man's instinct to know that plants had medicinal values. It was right here, guys. I want you guys to see it. Hopefully, you can see this. Oh, of course, I got sand everywhere. Ah, come on, book. But it's a really great book, but it has, like, a good quote here. But I want you guys to see for yourself. From the most ancient times, human beings have had a primal belief that plants contain, what? Healing powers. Isn't that amazing? Matthew Wood. The Book of Herbal Wisdom, 1997. So, you know, I'll just put that there. 
has a growing season you know there's a lot it goes into um i was looking for yarrow but i couldn't really find yarrow today but um it tells you like all the different things that i'm back i had to make another clip because my phone is apparently wants to like stop working it's not doing great and we got some type of plane going on but yeah i was showing you in this book like um really quick i'm just gonna have to merge the quick uh the clips i'm gonna say quips um it's just saying how um the medicinal plants like the different uses for it can make concoctions poultice infusion tea um and it gives you a great list cattails are great i should do one sometime but um there's many things you can use this stuff for today we have the rose hip if you get enough of these, you let them dry. We would to pit the inside. It's kind of like an itching type of hairs. We wouldn't um, want that. Um, I don't want the sand all over my book. Got all this stuff going on, guys, in the sky. But yeah, this is the book I'm reading from. It's a really great book. Let me just start walking back because, you know, this thing doesn't want to um, record for too long. It's so fresh. But this has a really high amount of vitamin c guys way more than oranges and people are having issues with um having low vitamin c and you need vitamin c to fight infection you need vitamin c to produce collagen you need vitamin c to um deal with colds and flus and everything and um people are getting more hip to this stuff guys and so um even the nutraceutical industry is becoming another trick bag because they're adding a lot of like soy and really bad stuff to these vitamin c powders so you don't want to just buy supplements that might not be your best bet you might just want to go natural get the natural stuff um pine needle like i just said um rose hips really great natural sources that you're going to find for yourself and your family and there's going to be no side effects it's going to be um it has like um, medicinal value after medicinal value so stay away from like the synthetic vitamin c powders out there go to um the beach just think of it pharmacy sounds like farm don't they both sound alike let me fix my hair don't they both sound alike they just changed it it's like a word magic it's um witchcraft that they've done because you got the ph and then the f with the with the farm okay so people used to go to the farm and that was their pharmacy. Let me fix myself. I know this thing is like popping out. It was the pharmacy, guys. So you need to go to nature. You need to go to the beach. If you, This is a real um, hospital. If you need to go to the hospital, just look at a regular hospital. There's no fresh air. There is no circulation in there. There's no sun. The sun is so medicinal. The salt water is so healing, right? Um, now they open up like salt spas everywhere you go because they, they know what it is and you can't replicate nature just come to the bees just you know go after um i go after they stop charging you think i'm gonna pay per whatever for something that should be free for all hmm no way um i come after 4 30 um I, it's around like six now that's totally fine it's a great time it's nice and cool i came it was like really really hot it was like beaming around four i mean whew. 4.30 is when the Nazis are out of the gate. So you can just drive right in. Pine, there's pine trees all over. That doesn't, um, they don't die in the winter. They're an evergreen. So you can pick all the pine needles you want, guys. You got your rose hips. You got to get hip to the rose hips. Because this is a chock full of vitamin C. Um, the early Americans had a problem with vitamin C and the indigenous, the aboriginal, used to put them onto it and saved a lot of their lives because they had scurvy. And a lot of us do, we don't even realize it. You have bleeding gums, you have like issues, like a lot of your symptoms could just be uh, malnutrition and a nutritional deficiency. And then you see how many supplements are advertising that, like, yeah, buy my product, buy my product. Let's just go and start having some forage and fun. So this has been Diana on Diet Dash, and I hope you learned something today. And I'll put a link to an article 
to um, show you the nutritional content. And these are really fun. All you got to do is pit out the middle, slow dry until they're um, really, really dry. There are different ways to do it. Make a tea. You can even eat it. Um, different ways to process it. But make sure that you take out the, the middle because there's itchy hairs in the middle. And you don't want that, obviously. You don't want to ingest that. So I hope you guys had a good time. And just look at the beautiful scenery in the sun. And I will come back shortly. Next few days, I'll work on some more tutorials. I'm talking about news, holistic medicine, you name it. And, um, you know, it, it's all going together. They, they're all relevant, you know. And um, I want to empower people to take care of their own health and to stop feeding the system because all they got for you is chemicals and um, you can do better governing yourself and trusting the most high that he gave you everything you need including an immune system which you just got to keep strong with the right stuff so um, hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, I'll talk to you real soon. Bye. Have a nice day.